Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. As I promise you before, today I have with me the new Ford S Max 2 2021 model and in this video I will do the test drive for you guys. So stay with me until the end of the video to find out how is to drive this Ford S Max. Before we go forward guys, if you're new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see all the notification when a new video will come out. Also, I have already on the channel with the same car, a full review, interior, exterior. You will find out technical data. You will find out how much space it's in the trunk, how much space it's here in the interior of the car, the quality materials, a multimedia system, and all kinds of information you will find out already on the channel. So check it out. Uh, it's already there the video this video it's all about driving i will give you the technical data and then we will drive the car we will find out how is to drive this s max because i'm really curious it's for the first time when i drive it i will drive it with you and i will give you my impression first of all let me tell you which car we will drive today which version the version that i have it with me is the version that i also recommend it to buy it if you want to buy it if you have a big family if you need a big car this is the best way to have the best comfort the best economy and the best easiness to drive the car so the car come with a two liter diesel engine why diesel because diesel have a better better economy at the moment and also you will still able to drive a few years with the diesel until they take it out and also diesel is better for the environment than the petrol engine anyway let's go forward it's not better for the people but it's better for the environment now guys as i said it comes with a two liter diesel engine four cylinders in line also this power is combined with an eight speed automatic transmission and this is the transmission that i recommend it also you can get it with a manual one but i recommend it to go with the automatic transmission because it's incredible it has this shift by wire transmission you change the gears really easy it feels really smooth and it's easy take out your stress when you go in holiday and when you want to drive the car the version that i have it it's the all-wheel drive version so you have great grip on the road great stability great for the winter great in the raining day and stuff like that so yeah this is the way i should go if i would buy this car the car comes with 190 horsepower 400 newton meters it's more than enough power for this car to get you through all the acceleration all that heaviness and uh, weight that you will have it in the car with a lot of people and kids and baggage this is the seven seater version by the way and the boot space in the back there you have 285 liters with the all third row seats up and if you fold down all the seats down you will have around 2020 liters it's incredible i mean in terms of spacious this car it's a beast check out the review there you will find out more information about all that stuff the estimated combined consumption it's around 6.2 liters it's not bad for a family big car like that zero to 100 kilometer in 9.9 .9 seconds maximum speed 206 kilometers more than enough the fuel tank capacity is 70 liters then if we go forward you can see the maximum turning circle 12 meters we will try that also in the test drive today then the front suspension independent spring mcpherson suspension with stabilizer and on the rear suspension you have also independent suspension ventilated brake discs on the front and brake discs on the rear so the quality is also really good here now that i give you the technical data let's talk a little bit about the price guys i'm here in switzerland at tehash Willy, and i will leave the link in the description i will give you the technical data all the information you have it in the description even the link if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car if you want to uh, test drive it you can come here guys if you are around switzerland also tell them you see my video you come from me and you want a discount you will get your discount guys anyway the price of the car usually the starting price is 56,350 francs but with all these options for example i don't know if you can see it very well here you have uh, the hook for the caravan you have the business pack you have the metallic color you have the electric seat and you have i don't know what is this but you have electric seat by the way and with all those options the price of the car will be 63,000 
okay around francs but here at Tehash Willy they have a discount 11,980 francs discount so the final price will be 51,000 francs for the new car price but if you get a car that was already used like a demo car you can get even better prices anyway the price is better than the starting price so I think it's a great deal anyway check them out guys I just want to present you that now guys let's drive the car let's see how the car is handling and then in the end we will make a conclusion all right guys let's drive the car here is the key by the way what you can do with the key lock unlock the car also if you press it two times you have uh, automatic lift gate but all about the trunk and the space you will find out in other videos so check out the other video guys also you can close it from here just like that or you can press this button and you close the trunk very simple okay now of course the car come with keyless entrance you can lock and unlock the car from here with your finger you just have to have the key with you electric folding mirrors put your hands here you can see the system work pretty fast and i like that also the quality in the interior it's very good i like it very much the car come with aluminium pedals st line logo at the entrance electric adjustable seats leather seats in combination with this alcantara in the middle lovely lovely quality I like it very much now you can leave the key here you don't even need to use the key because the car come with start engine button so all you have to do press the brake press the start engine button and then the engine it's on now let me put the seat belt also the seats are lovely guys as I said before if you want to find out more about quality seats and stuff like that check out the other video the review video I already adjust the seats from here you can adjust it in many many position you want electrically up down left right also the steering wheel you can adjust it manually from here down up just like that super simple the cockpit it's kind of digital in combination with some kind of analogical so you can see some kind of information right there on the cockpit about the trip the navigation the speed entertainment and yeah so on you can also somehow configure it right there on the screen but yeah it's not something crazy more about that in other video it's not something crazy that you find it for example in volkswagen where you find more information also you have this multimedia system that i already reviewed so check out my other video guys there you find more information about that i will also close the climatic system also the controls are here i don't want to go too much into detail about that you have a camera here also that if you press this button with the camera you can see that the car come with those nice cameras where you can see also in the front and also on the rear so this is kind of the front camera so it's really good quality the camera that's something that i want to tell you and i have to say that i like very much what they did with the camera also the car come with heated seats and heated steering wheel it comes with a lot of features that i like it very much i'm really impressed that you have heated seat heated steering wheel electric adjustable seat electric adjustable mirrors and all kind of stuff all kind of safety feature as well also this transmission eight speed transmission and this shift by wire transmission it's gorgeous i mean you just have to rotate this is one of my favorite it's super easy to change the gears just rotate this wheel and go in drive go in neutral go in reverse you can see the reverse camera right now very good quality on the reverse camera and even though let's go backward the car come also with electronic parking brake that's awesome you can see how easy you can park the car there just for the purpose of this video i will show you slowly it comes with parking sensors super easy to park it just like that then uh, you have the parking then you have the ss it's come from sport mode i will show you as we drive so it will appear on the screen uh, start stop engine button parking sensors all that function usb ports and more on that uh, in the other video guys now let's drive the car visibility in the mirrors it's quite good i have a nice nice position of driving here on the seats a little bit taller uh, great visibility outside the big big windscreen i love it how long it is you have a great visibility also here it's split in two maybe you will have some kind of blind spot in this area here because it's split in two uh, we will drive and we will see if that bother me as i go in the video big window here big mirror great visibility in the mirrors also they come with blind spot technology yeah anyway let's drive it guys first impression the car feel a little bit heavier it's normal 
for the size of the car and for the purpose of the car it's normal to be a little bit heavier I'm impressed with the fact that the engine even though it's a diesel engine it's quite silent I like that brakes pedals feel great it comes with aluminum pedals and they feel really good great visibility until now no problem in terms of this blind spot I don't think this will bother you guys I think it's relatively good the transmission it's very good this is what I noticed until now it, it's changed the gears you don't even feel it it's, it's relatively good no head-up display on the car the digital cockpit I wish it was a little bit better um, the car can still read the traffic speed limits uh, and it comes also with cruise control I will show you later but yeah when it's super sunny outside you cannot see it so well there in the front also from here you can change the trip computer I also reset it right now or yes I reset it I want to see what will be the consumption in the end I don't know if you can see it right there but I will tell you I like that it's very responsive it's not in sport mode and it's quite responsive as I said before um, 190 horsepower is more than enough for for this the size and the car it feels super responsive and agile in the curves here on the roundabout wow I like it man I didn't expect to be so easy to drive I know Ford make good cars for for many years but it's relatively good good to drive suspension yeah, quite fine quite comfortable not bad great visibility it doesn't I, I should say it doesn't bother me this angle here we will try to make some curves take some curves here um, but visibility it's perfect and also the stability the handlings it feels a little bit like a boat a little bit heavier I cannot say that the car is agile because it feels heavier but uh, the, the suspension are, are super good I like the suspensions oh yeah yeah the, the, the transmission the X speed 8 speed transmission it's it's really good it feels really really good I like it super comfortable let's see on the curves here oh yeah brakes good feel really comfy really good You can hear a little bit the engine, how it's struggling to accelerate, but it's normal for a diesel. The sound insulation from the exterior, it's relatively good. I should say it's good. You cannot hear so much noise from outside, even though here are a lot of cars, trucks. It's good. Visibility in this mirror also very good very good visibility no complaining in terms of visibility blind spot it's working um, if you want to activate here for example the lane assist guys I just activate it press it once also you can choose the distance from here you can set up the speed let me set up the speed to 90 kilometers let's see how it's working lane assist yes it's okay it's bouncing oh yeah it's bouncing around a little bit so don't expect to have an incredible lane assist or stuff like that because it's just for the safety purpose I don't think it's yeah look at this so it's kind of bouncing around a little bit so you still have to have the, the control over the, the car take the control but in terms of keeping the, the speed it's super easy to adjust it because you have the buttons here for the cruise control and it's easy to adjust the speed you just put the speed let it roll and look at this the lane assist is working good but mm, I don't for safety it's working good for safety in case you go out it will look at this it will kind of help you out to stay between the lanes but it's not like look at this it's not like a Tesla it's just for the safety anyway that's something to keep in mind 
uh, this is something that they have to improve it but in terms of visibility this windshield it's gorgeous and also the windshield it's heated guys so in the winter you press a button and then the windshield will be defrosted very fast also it has this adaptive cruise control right now the car is braking automatic and it's accelerate automatic depend on what the car in front will do so that's a great system in terms of this system it's working really good so keep in mind that um, holding the distance accelerating it's perfect you just set the speed to 100 for example and the car in front will drive slowly the car will keep the distance will accelerate will decelerate depend on what the car in front will do so this is also this is a good thing this is a good system but in terms of lane assist you have to be uh, pay attention to the road also the visibility on the multimedia system it's quite fine not the best one but quite relatively good so you can see the navigation right there on the screen pretty well it will take off your eyes a little bit of the road but yeah it's fine maybe it will be better if they can install it a little bit forward and upper and straight you know so the driver can see it a little bit better but i'm not complaining I'm, i mean it's relatively good it's just the blink of your, your eyes there and you will understand where you are on the street located again you set the speed on the highway and the car will keep the speed pay attention to the road also it's great that it comes with that uh, emergency brake so in case the car in front will break the car your car will break as well so safety features are here uh, it comes with reading the traffic speed limit as well and that's another good thing uh, that I like it about the car until now this angle here doesn't bother me at all so the visibility was good even on the curves even on the highway great comfort on those seats one of my favorite thing the seats are super comfy uh, that I have to say it's much more comfortable than in other cars guys so that was really really impressive to see in this uh, Ford S Max the seats are lovely comfortable this combination of Alcantara with leather it's very good and they, the way they design it the size of them for me personally it's just more than perfect um, yeah other than that as I said before it feels the car a little bit heavier you feel like you're driving a, an SUV but yeah it is it is a big car family car now if you go in sport mode you just have to press the S here I don't know if you can see it it go in S mode and then the acceleration will be a little bit more responsive until now the consumption is 6.5 6.5 it's not bad at all taking into consideration uh, the car it's heavy it's big it has seven seats um, it's it's normal it's normal but lovely lovely here and now the more i drive the more i understand and i i notice that the sound insulation in the car in the cabin it's very good it's very good I tell you it's really good also the car come with Sony sound system the sound system in the car it's gorgeous you have soft material on the doors almost everywhere I like that very much um, as you probably see the review if you didn't see the review with the with the same car check it out on the channel it's already there for a few weeks now and there if you will find out more information about the material quality and the, the other things in the interior also the steering you have a great grip on the steering wheel the size is good the grip it's nice also leather great great quality also this sd line come with this red stitches here um, and that make the car look much better i like it i like the car 6.1 we have consumption until now not bad i didn't drive too fast but if you drive in in legal speed limit you can get some gorgeous uh, consumption also i like the way it stay on curves you have kind of side support on the seat and it's nice it's really really nice it's pleasant to drive
6.2 liters I get better and better consumption I can notice that or I have to stay here on this lane now in sport mode in s mode it's much more responsive the acceleration I can hear the rpm are going higher the brakes are pff, lovely look at this lovely brakes I love the pedals they feel good quality they stop you have ventilated brake discs in the front ventilated brake discs on the rear independent McPherson suspension in the front in the back also independent it's lovely um, yes I don't have uh, auto hold that's a downside I guess you activate the handbrakes and if you accelerate it's go out automatic I don't know if you have auto hold or not I don't think so but you, when you say stay on your uh, traffic light you will have to always okay let's go left now that's relatively good visibility you will have guys to yeah let me try it again I'm here I'm braking and then the car it's moving yes it's not auto hold i don't think it comes with auto hold but once you set the electronic handbrake then when you accelerate the electronic handbrake will go off automatic now it's a little bit more responsive in in, in s mode i can already feel that the gearbox this automatic gearbox it's really good i like it i like the way it feels it's really agile quite agile it feels really good much more responsive I don't know if someone will want to drive in S mode with this car with this one. it's more like a family car let's go back to normal mode right now let's get let let's see what will be the consumption until I get back there because I'm sure I can get some gorgeous consumptions until I will go back Six point nine until now because I play a little bit with S mode right there, but I'm sure I can get under six liters consumption. Let's see that. Let's test it out. I just drive in the speed limit legally. There are a few things that they can improve it here on the car. Um, like the cockpit I wish it was different I don't know I cannot see so well the things right there right now it's sunny outside and there is dark and the things are quite relatively small I wish they were a little bit bigger and I don't know the new cockpit that I see it on the Ford yeah E-Mac Mustang uh, that would be uh, an awesome thing to, to bring it here some digital cockpit also multimedia can be different um, the same as the e-mac Ford can do big things with the cars because you know what it's important in a car is the, the comfort the safety the visibility the, the noise and all these things uh, in a Ford and in this Ford S Max are here I mean lovely seats this is very important lovely seats lovely pedals um, great visibility outside in the mirrors around the car you have a lot of safety features you have a lot of uh, comfort features like defrosting windshield heated steering wheel heated seat electronic handbrake um, you, the only downside again another one it's this uh, auto hold the Y is not here the auto hold it's very important these days at least for an uh, like automatic uh, transmission in my opinion auto hold it's a must have must have and i really love to have it on my car i also on my other car on my audi a3 i just installed it myself because i really need to have auto hold and i was installed it myself on the car uh, it was an older version it's not a big downside because but every, every time you go to a traffic uh, stop sign you have to to hold your foot on the brake or you have to activate the 
handbrake and then when you press the acceleration it will deactivate automatic but still um, still 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 it's something that it's missing here it's not a big deal but just worth mention now 6.4 liter consumption driving at 100 the suspension are really good they are they are good I cannot say anything about the suspension I have to say that only the thing that are good and I like them I like the suspension guys over the bumps again it's lovely lovely I think also the seats helping a lot with the suspension because over the bumps they are doing a great job it's a lovely weather 21 degrees outside today I love this weather with a little bit of sunny a little bit of clouds 21 degrees is just perfect perfect weather if we'll be always like that we'll be just perfect anyway um, uh, the diesel engine on this car it's quite relatively smooth it's it's very good uh, engine this two liter engine with plenty of power again the, the lane assist are activated and also the adaptive cruise control right now the car is driving itself it's just keeping the speed and the distance between the car in front and it's a lovely system I like it pleasant it's it's silent inside here if your kids will sleep in the back I think they will sleep without any problem because it's, it's relatively silent inside the cabin oh my camera it's running out of the seat there yes nice what can I say guys it's, it's one of the best family car on the market I don't know why so many people are just going for SUVs SUVs these days when you have these MPVs that are super awesome I mean for a family it's it's huge and over my head I almost stretch my hand guys it's it's so much space here yeah let me go to 100 oh yes 9.9 .9 seconds 0 to 100 you can hear a little bit the, the acceleration the engine super super silent it's good it's good it's good I like it no problem guys with this angle here I was thinking maybe you have some problem with the visibility there but this doesn't bother me at all it's, it's just it's just like a normal one it's, it's quite fine I can drive this car for a million kilometers even the headrest up here feel quite nice when I put my head on it it's super soft and nice I don't understand why the, the car the, the car manufacturer they make this headrest so so hard this one here it's super soft and nice and it's quite relaxing and comfortable I'm really a big fan of relaxing and comfortable car to be honest I wish all the car to be comfortable yeah not all because sometimes we need some sporty cars but look at this oh yeah you can have some fun with the car a little bit wow it's not bad man I mean even 190 horsepower it's, it's relatively good if you slow down a little bit wow it's not bad not bad even in the acceleration that was the first thing that I noticed when I start driving it is that it's quite responsive and quite aggressive the car it's quite I should say sportier so yeah this is the this is the configuration that I will go if I will buy that car this car so if you ask me guys this is it two liter diesel engine family car perfect a lot of sportiness a lot of responsiveness all-wheel drive great grip great system great comfort great over the bumps 
roundabout acceleration lovely lovely easy to drive great steering wheel by the way guys don't kill the messenger I mean I I know I don't hold my hands on the steering wheel properly but this is for the purpose of the video okay so I try to show you as best as possible and yeah you can see it's lovely control it feels a little bit heavier but lovely control yes over the bumps here are a few bumps yeah it's doing lovely 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 it's doing lovely over the bumps nothing to say about that now the turning circle here it's 12 meter it's a big car of course but it's not bad it's doing great it's doing a great job I love it great great job it's nobody there I love it man what can I say if you want to park the car here going in reverse just like that you have those active lines there parking here no problem yeah I didn't bother to park it perfectly but it doesn't matter because I anyway I would have to move the car electronic handbrake that's it guys that was the test drive I hope you enjoy it I hope it was helpful for you guys I hope you get some useful information from this video from this test drive with Ford S Max ST line 2 liter petrol engine 190 horsepower so i hope you get some useful information if you want to see the full review i already have the video on my channel so check it out also don't forget to subscribe like and share that would mean a lot for me guys also if you want to see the future cars the new cars that will come on my channel the rating from 1 to 10 i will rate this car at uh, taking into consideration price quality materials acceleration comfort and all that stuff from 1 to 10 the my rating will be 9.7 okay 9.7 uh, in this class it's it's one of the best family car and I wish in the future they will improve this kind of cars I wish I will see an electric car in this shape an MPV I wish they will uh, extend those things even though I know they don't want to make it anymore because everybody want an SUV now anyway guys i hope you enjoy it don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com there you find a lot of information about cars technical data tips about how to buy a car new car second hand car videos all the information so check it out also thank you for watching i will leave the link in the description to tehash willy if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car you are around switzerland go to them test drive it if you want to buy it tell them you come from me and you want your discount and you will get it thank you for watching again stay safe and see you soon in the next one bye guys